Hi guys, we have a new week with new recipe. This time I'm making one traditional classic, cherry cake transformed into cherry muffins. This recipe is proof that most delicious foods are made with the simplest of ingredients. The whole process of baking a cake is true therapy for every home cook. Mixing all of the ingredients, beating them with the mixer, adding new flavors, an absolute harmony for your soul. Probably the ones who are passionate home cooks will understand what I'm talking about. This recipe will only take you 20 minutes and will please even the pickiest eaters. So let me show you how to make it. The first you need to do is to beat the eggs while gradually adding the sugar and vanilla. After 10 minutes of continuously beating, slowly adding the vegetable oil while the mixer is still running. This step is very important because it will thicken the batter. This way the cherries won't sink to the bottom when you add them. Add in the yogurt and mix well. In a bowl aside, mix well the dry ingredients, flour and baking powder. well with the help of a spoon and adding the dry ingredients into the butter just in thirds, mixing well between each addition. But being careful not to over mix the butter because you don't want to end up with tough muffins. Grease well muffin tin and with the help of an ice cream scoop, scoop out from the butter, filling the muffin cups three quarters of the way full, leaving some space to rise in the oven. Add cherries on top of each muffin and pop this deliciousness into already preheated oven and 350 Fahrenheit or 180 Celsius degrees and bake for about 15 minutes. When baked, leave them for about 3 to 4 minutes to rest and carefully remove them from the muffin cups. I like to serve them on a cake stand and just before serving to dust them with a little bit of icing sugar. And now there you have it guys, rich and decadent cherry muffins. If you don't have cherries or you are not a such a big fan of those, you can totally make those muffins with your favorite fruits such as strawberries, blackberries, blueberries or even banana will work out fine. I hope you will give this recipe a try and let me know how it turned out. For a lot more coming in future, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on social media. Have fun cooking, until the next time!